beautiful name is. The name of Jesus Christ our King. What a beautiful name it is. I just love to worship the Most High God and uh, I want to take this opportunity to invite you to all nations United Methodist Church here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We have two services every Sunday and on Fridays we have prayer service as well. So as you can see very soon, um, in about a few minutes, about 16 minutes, uh, we will have our prayer service and it's a prayer service slash uh, healing service. So it's my hope that you take this opportunity to join us um, um, here um, in a sanctuary and uh, you, you'll be touched so much. I want to say, if you see anything, say, you need a ready, everything, time, a wall, in a city name, na a sorry bit, and I'm in Paibosu, and say, we can form a profound answer, and bra, you want to say, and bra, and we are doing the brain, and say, you need to support a wall in Paibosu, you want to say, you need a ready, time, a bit so closer. Uh, through prayer, which uh, um, Sorbet Bray uh, Asia on Fridays to pray and on Wednesdays to study the scriptures. And uh, we have the same thing here at uh, All Nations United Methodist Church. In fact, it's fully packed uh, with the Holy Ghost. Um, you, you will never come here and go back the same. And you become a different, a transformed person uh, in the presence of God. That you know, when the enemy, you know, sees you, the enemy uh, will have to salute you because of who you are in Christ Jesus. And see, I want to take this medium to really invite all and sundry to be a part of what God is doing here at all nations. Uh, there has been so many testimonies, uh, miracles happening here and there, God moving uh, in, in a supernatural way. Uh, so the heavens doors are open. Uh, God is pouring out His presence on us in ways that we have never experienced in a lifetime of the ministry and uh, of the church as a whole. Uh, so I invite you a uh, few uh, minutes, about 10 minutes, um, you know, we wait to really uh, be in the presence of God and to be in prayer. So before then, I would like to share with you just a few words of encouragement uh, from our brother James, uh, who was the brother of Jesus Christ. So this is coming from the Apostle Mark about the power of prayer, about the power of prayer. So once um, you are getting yourself together and perhaps if you're on the road, I encourage you not to watch you know, me through Facebook, but uh, you can watch it afterwards. So that you pass it on to your friends and to your neighbors and your loved ones that God is doing so many good things here. All Nations United Methodist Church. But the Bible says in the vision that we are not wrestling against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against powers, those in high places. And it's high time that Christians are praying like never before. And I'm so glad that those who are part of this ministry, they have taken this to heart. Where every Friday uh, we come here and uh, we, we, we just really, you know, get together in the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, calling the heaven doors to be open up, God pouring forth His blessings on us. So please take advantage of this and uh, you may be tired, so maybe just one hour where you come and uh, you are alert, you know, to pray. Uh, because there is a name greater than every other name, and that name is Jesus Christ. So in a short while, let me share with you uh, quickly from uh, the, um, the epistle of James, um, James chapter 5, uh, talking about the power of prayer. So in that 
respect. Read with me uh, from the book of James, uh, chapter 5, verse 13 through, uh, let me read through 15. Is anyone among you suffering? You know, this is Jesus' own brother who at first did not believe that, you know, Jesus was the son of God and as a savior for all of humanity. And after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, he came to believe and he took the gospel all over the world. And now we are reading from the one who had experience the power of God's word. It says, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. And I just love that just sentence alone, right? Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith, I love this, and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. Amen. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Amen. So this is so powerful a word to hear, uh, where James is admonishing us to do three things over here, right? So the first uh, thing I want us to focus on as we are just about to uh, get to, into the sanctuary to pray, he says that is anyone among you suffering? Is anyone among you suffering? You see, James is writing from a pastor's heart. A heart that is full of grace, full of God's anointing, overflowing. And he's asking us all, as believers, those who believe in Christ, that we need to pray when we suffer. And I believe that one way or the other, there is suffering going on in our lives now. There may be physical suffering, emotional suffering, psychological suffering, mental suffering, and you, you, you name it. But of course, nothing can be brave. So, I am going to be acquainted with you. I be a higher. I am going to be a higher. I mean, there's no way in the scriptures where you will come once again to this verse. It wasn't a long ago when I received a test message that one of our sisters in Virginia, um, you know, has passed. And this lady was, you know, with us during the women's, you know, conference uh, not long ago. And I believe that the, the family is in a place of dilemma, a, a place of suffering, a place where they are looking for answers. But that is the time that God is calling us to pray. You know, He gives us the, 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 the answer or the solution to our suffering. So wherever you are, I want you to agree with me in prayer that there is healing through prayer. Because when we pray, we are making our suffering known unto Him. We are drawing near unto Him. It was the same revelation that was given to Moses uh, when Moses was shepherding in all his flock and God called him out of the burning bush. And uh, he said, look, Moses, Moses, we know the story so well. And after Moses responded, God said, look, I've heard the suffering of my people and I've come down to save them. You see, God 
knows our pain. God knows our suffering. God knows all the challenges you and I face on a daily basis and the solution to those sufferings and the challenges is your prayer. So prayer is your communion with God. A prayer is you and I pouring our hearts before Him. And it's not in my heart when it's time to pray or come together to pray. We see only a few people in the church or in our churches who will come and pray. But as the song is being played, it is all we need. That is all we need to be in prayer. So I encourage you in your suffering, pray to God. You ask God's divine favor to come upon you. You ask God's intervention, you know, to really come penetrate through whatever situation, whatever challenge that you may be going through. So the answer to suffering is what? Prayer. Amen. You see, for a fish to be alive, a fish has to be in a pond or in a river. The moment you take the fish out of the pond, the fish will cease to exist. Amen. So it is with believers. So long as we are in the pond of his blood, there is always hope, there is always life in us that we can move, and, uh, we can live and move and have our being as Paul, you know, will say later on. So I encourage you that fall in love with prayer. In the midst of your suffering, cry unto him. Jonah experienced the same thing in the midst of his suffering. He, he lifted his voice even in the belly of the well. God heard his prayer. I don't know where you are. I don't know wh what place you are. God is our healer. God is our healer. And he heals all our diseases. Are you suffering? Are you emotionally drained? Are you financially bankrupt? Are you going through situations that are so unbearable? There is a word for you. Pray. Pray about it. And sometimes you can't bear those burdens alone. You have to just be a part of the Bible believing, you know, Christians where we will get together and pray with you. God knows us and he wants us to pray. The second part of the verse from James chapter 5, 13 says that Is anyone cheerful? Is anyone happy? Let him sing praise unto the Lord. So in the midst of all the goodness of God, in the midst of uh, our, our joyfulness, we need to just sing praises unto Him. So there is healing in our suffering. There is joy that bursts forth in our praises unto Him. Men pay one is sent near Tibia or Abraham on the It is the heart of God that we enjoy the life we are in and the life to come. Let's not hold this off, but to be in prayer and in praise of the Most High God. That means that we are acknowledging the giver of all things. Hallelujah. So, in the midst of it, even in our cheerfulness, guess what? We need to display the heart of praise unto the Most High God. And as we sing praise unto Him, He says, Is anyone among you saved? Oh, I love this part too. Amen. So, we have suffering. When we are suffering, we what? We pray. When we are cheerful, we sing praises. And when we are sick, guess what the Bible says? Let him or her call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad I got this you know, wonderful gift that was given to me by one of uh, uh, my former church members, an alabaster job. 
Oh, hell is right here. And now this is the power of the anointing oil of God. And I have believed in the power of his anointing because the Bible says that it is the anointing of God that breaks every yoke. And this is what the Bible tells us to do. That when we are sick, no, if you are sick, right? Because it's a matter of when. No, it's a matter of if. Okay, so when we are sick, when you are sick, uh, I mean, the first thing that you, you need to do is to what? Come, I mean, call the elders of the church. Uh, these are the ordained, uh, I mean, all the pastors that have been called uh, and anointed to lay their hands upon the sick. And the Bible says that they shall receive their healing. I love that part. That is why I believe in the laying of hands and upon the sick and upon the needy, upon those who are suffering. Because I believe that it's not about me. It's about the promise of God's word in the life of his people. And one thing that even I love about just studying this one just in a while ago was that it says, Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with all in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith amen will save the one who is sick amen so the prayer of faith so here let me kind of really push you a little bit it's the prayer of faith right the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick so in other words, he's saying those who are praying with faith will be able to bring healing to the sick person. So you may not have all the faith that as a sick person, maybe you, you need to have. But because of those elders and of the church who have been ordained and anointed, I pray in, you know, in faith, you shall receive your healing. Amen. So when we come together to pray, I believe that God is faithful in fulfilling His promise through His people or the pastors that He has anointed. So this is what we do here at All Nations United Methodist Church. And it's my prayer that you will take advantage of this. And making prayer meaningful in your life. So, so tight. Because now when I pray, um, I don't have to pray for maybe 10 hours before, you know, uh, results come. You know, prayer of faith, you know, can be instantaneous. Prayer of faith can happen, you know, as God deems faithful, you know, uh, results come. You know, prayer of faith, you know, can be instantaneous. Prayer of faith can happen, you know, as God deems fit in his own way. But the moment I pray, I just release everything. Everything unto the most high God Lord. Now it is your time. Oh, to make the impossible possible in the name of Jesus. So I pray that whatever you may be going through this evening or through your life as a whole, you spend some time. If you're unable to join us every Friday over here, I encourage you to be a part, at least um, put down your calendar that from 7 to 8 p.m you are in prayer with us if you're on the job that time you can be praying talking to god whilst you are work uh you are at work uh if you are home maybe caring for children you can still be communing you know with god and if the time allows you for you to join us please don't don't hesitate to come together to join us in prayer because i believe i have experienced this I have, uh, uh, I, I can attest to this, that there is healing, there is healing in prayer, there is healing for all of us. So if you are suffering, pray. If you are cheerful, sing some, you know, praises. If you are sick, come, don't be shy as a pastor or pastors. Please, I am sick. My, uh, my, my, I feel some weaknesses in my body. May you lay your hands upon me and I believe that I shall receive my healing. I pray that this shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Uh, may God richly bless you. May God's anointing fall afresh on you as we all do, do this together, as we bring all that we are and forever will be into the very presence of God. I will try and uh, do this and put some pieces together where there will be morning devotions, uh, maybe from 5 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. every morning. Uh, so you can uh, join us through Facebook um, and be a part of what God is doing in these last days. So if you wouldn't mind, please join me as I close with you because I have to be in the sanctuary um, joining brothers and sisters who are in prayer at this moment. So once again, I invite you to join us at All Nations United Methodist Church. Uh, 11440 Shelton Road West, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. And uh, on Fridays, we have our prayer and healing service uh, from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then on Wednesdays, we have a strong Bible based study group that you will fall in love with, also from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then on Sundays, we do have two services uh, where uh, the first service is contemporary and uh, we basically speak English throughout. So if you are not, uh, you know, uh, from Ghana or from a nation where you understand our language, uh, that I, I recommend that for you uh, to join us on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 10.30 you know, AM. Then we have our second service, which is a blended service. Uh, we do both languages uh, at the same time. Uh, you'll be blessed uh, in both services. Uh, so I encourage you to be a part of what God is doing because we, we, we are living in the last days and we must really be in prayer 24-7 because the prayer of faith in faith shall bring healing and restoration in the name of Jesus. So I agree with me as we pray together. If you are suffering, I want you to believe in the power of God's healing. If you are sick, I want you to place your hand wherever that sickness or that pain is. If you are cheerful, just sing praises unto the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. So let us agree together in prayer. Oh Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release your healing power in the lives of your servants who are watching me through Facebook in the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are suffering, oh Lord, I release a breakthrough in your lives in the name of Jesus. For those who are at the point of giving up in life, oh God, I pray you shall touch them in a special way, bringing transformation, hope in the name of Jesus Christ. I release this upon them that are sick, that worship them. For those who are sick, let them be brought before the elders of the church and let them lay their hands upon them, anointing them, oh God, so tonight. I anoint thy servants in the name of Jesus. May the healing balm of the Most High God touch them, those who are sick, in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the hospitals, oh Lord, I release your healing power in the name of Jesus. Well, that that sickness shall not hold them captive any longer in the name of Jesus. I mean, I'm a bomb fire. I mean, I'm a bomb fire. I mean, I'm a sorry in the name of Jesus. Well, when uh, I would share. A man near the Abba one, so maybe yes, you more than a run and maybe no, no, my I say anyone dear man, quite anyone dear, my family, anyone dear, for that worship by your stripes we are healed. We release it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, for those who are cheerful. I pray that Father, let them sing the praises in the name of Jesus. Well, that in all of their doings, oh God, they will testify to the fact that indeed the Lord is good. We'll bless you, we magnify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why we're saying, How great, my God, you are! How great and awesome you are! How, Father, 
Jesus, you are. Oh, your, your name is above all other names. We give you praise. We give you honor in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are moving into the mid century tonight, may your power, O oh Lord, rain down once again upon us. May all who have come tonight never go back the same in the name of Jesus Christ. May let's be transformed in him in the name of Jesus. Those who are still released the healing, those who are suffering, let the healing balm of the most high God be their portion in in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you and we bless you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Our God bless you so much. I am so glad that you were able to join us this evening in our time of prayer. And like I said, I have to join brothers and sisters right there in the sanctuary where we're going to pray together. So um, if you will, um, every uh, Friday at uh, this time, um, I will give a word of visitation and uh, preparing us, you know, for our time of prayer together. So, um, for those who are able to join us, just continue to be in prayer because there is there is breakthrough in prayer, there is healing in prayer, there is restoration in prayer. Miracles are happening here at All Nations United Methodist Church, and you won't believe God is at work. Just come and experience it. You know, sometimes it's so hard. You know, when folks are telling uh, you know their own experiences with God, you you may be tempted not to believe uh, until you experience it yourself. That reminds me of Shredder, Michigan, a bit ago when they were cast into the in a burning furnace, and I mean all these people were in disbelief, uh, and finally they called the king himself to come and see. All these guys were dancing even in the fire. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That in the midst of our suffering, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our sicknesses, God is there with us. He heals all our diseases. So God bless you for watching. And I hope to see you um, Sunday um, doing uh, one of our services, either uh, for the first service uh, in the morning from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. or the second service uh, which starts from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. God, we shall bless you and I encourage you be a part of what God is doing in this place. Bye-bye.